Lois. And I am uh, here visiting in Burkina Faso, and today we're sitting on Esther's porch table, and we're packing bags to go to the hospital. At home, of course, in the United States, we have, uh, when you get to the hospital, everything is provided. It's not that way here in Burkina. So we have decided to uh, bring a little gift to every patient that's there. So one thing we're putting in our bag is uh, Vaseline, which you can, it's very dry here, so Vaseline is a great thing to have in as part of your hygiene products. We're also putting along popcorn. One of our missionary colleagues uh, makes popcorn, and, and that, this is a fun treat, hospital or no hospital. <laughs> then we're, um, we have homemade soap that we're giving them. None of these things are provided, like I mentioned, so it's great to have things that you can um, that you'd need to take care of yourself in the hospital or have your friends take care of you. We also are sending um, tea bags. Can you imagine that they don't provide food in the hospital? Well, they don't. So to have a nice cup of tea will make you feel better. We have a few little candies, little mints, some cookies, and then we also are providing them with the gospel, which is the most important thing that we're bringing along. So we are going to take a trip today and bring about 200 bags of gifts to the folks at the hospital and really be an encouragement to them. This is the chapel at our hospital. We come here each week. We have pastors that work out of this office, going through the hospital, praying for sick people. They tell us the hospital is where everyone comes. And we have this huge open door to pray with sick people. Today we did a huge distribution of soap and candy for the the kids here and we thank the Lord that he has enabled us to give access to the gospel here at the hospital. And I hope that you guys back at home can be encouragements to um, people in your church or your neighborhood who need to know about the Lord. <music>